What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. We're back again with another My Top 5. First off, let me say thank you so much for everyone who's been enjoying these. Really appreciate it. So far we've covered the Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and last week we did the GameCube. We've done those three so far. This week we're going to take a look at Xbox 360. And if you're interested, we still have Xbox One. I have PlayStation 4 over there, and I have Wii over there, so if you guys want to see one of those three, feel free to let me know. Now, same rules as before, five games, three honorable mentions, except this week I'm cheating a little bit. Well, I'll just get right into it. Majin, The Forsaken Kingdom. It's going to be an extra honorable mention. You're probably wondering, like, geez, what the heck are you talking about? Well, this game definitely has its flaws. There's the back of it if you guys are interested. Definitely has its flaws, but when it comes to Xbox 360 games, this one is probably one of the most beautiful games I've ever played on the 360. I mean, this game is just gorgeous. The, just the graphic detail of this game is just like, whoa. Like, I mean, it's kind of like a Zelda-esque type game, so it's interesting. It, I'm glad I picked it up. I'm glad I have it in the collection. If you collect it all for the 360, I'd recommend trying to find this one. I don't know if the price of it's gone up. I had a heck of a time finding it. I finally, you know, tracked it down. Have it. Pretty cool. Like I said, it's kind of a Zelda clone. It's got puzzles. I won't spoil any of the details. If you guys want a full review, let me know. So, that's an extra honorable mention. I just want to mention that game real quick. All right. Now, right into the list. And again, let me know next week if you which system you guys would like to see next. And if you missed them, I will leave somewhere down there in the description, the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, and the GameCube. So, first one, number five, Ninja Gaiden 2. Originally, this was an NES game, the Ninja Gaiden Trilogy, and then it got a port to Super Nintendo, which was the three games together, and then kind of disappeared for a while, and it was brought back as an OG Xbox game. The original Xbox just called Ninja Gaiden. That game is stupid hard, just like the original NES game. Then finally, we got this one. Hold on, I'll show you guys the disc here. I don't have the manual, I just have a generic case. Eventually, I'll pick up a good case for this. There it is. That's what it looks like. Disc, same as the cover. I just have a generic cover. Got from GameStop. Still got the receipt here. But... Xbox 360 got a port, and then a little bit later on, the PlayStation 3 also got a port called Ninja Gaiden 2 Sigma, which has a couple extra uh, chapters in it, and you can play as Ayane in her chapter. So if you collect for the Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3, highly recommend this game. It's really hard, but it's a heck of a lot of fun. Hack and slash action game. Really enjoy it. Star Characters Ryu, made by Team Ninja. Hey, and the deaf cat wants to say hello again. My special guest, apparently he wants to say hello for these. My little deaf kitty, he, he got old on me. That's all right. See you later. He might try to jump in the video again. I don't know, we'll see. Let's move right along. I've been injured long enough intro. Number four, Bayonetta. Oh, is this game friggin' fun. He plays a badass female character who uses her hair. I mean, that's just cool. I won't spoil any of the story. It's kind of weird, but I don't want to spoil anything. But this game was originally made by the people who made the Devil May Cry series. Then they made this one after Devil May Cry 4. Got to complete here. Definitely a lot of fun. Unfortunately, Xbox One didn't get the sequel to it. It actually got ported over to the Wii U. So all of you Wii U owners, there is actually a Bayonetta 1 and 2 combination game that you can get that has this and the second game on it. I highly recommend getting that. I think it's this is definitely a lot of fun. Also very hard, but like I said, it's just amazing game. And actually, I've done a review on this channel, so I'll leave that as the pinned comment down below for you guys if you're interested in the full review. So that's number four. Now, you're probably wondering by this point in time, hey, cheese, on all your other lists, you have racing games. Where's your racing game on this one? Fear not, dear viewer. 
You knew I had to have one. Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed. This is actually the second game in a trilogy. The first one is called uh, so what is it? Sonic Racing featuring Banjo-Kazooie. Sonic All-Stars Racing featuring Banjo-Kazooie. This is the second one. Yep, complete. Got the manual in there. I think this is the best one. It also later got a uh, another sequel, which is called uh, Sonic Team Racing. I haven't played that one, so I can't comment about that one, but I know that the first two for the Xbox 360 are a lot of fun. Highly recommend both of them. Of all the racing games that I've played, this one's probably the closest to Diddy Kong Racing for the Nintendo 64, because you get to play as, all right, let me put it over here so you guys can see. You get to play as both the boats, or yeah, the cars, the boats, and plane, sorry, plane, boat, car. It's backwards. I'm looking at this so everything's reversed like a mirror. So like I said, car, plane, boat. So that mechanic's kind of similar to how you uh, can in Diddy Kong Racing with, you know, the different cars that are, you know, hover, not boat, but hovercraft or the plane. So again, if you collect for the Xbox 360 or if you have some way to play this, highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. And actually when I first started my channel almost two years ago now, I featured this game like non-stop for about the first two or three months. This was like all that was on my channel. So if you guys want to see some more gameplay, let me know. That's number three. Sorry if I'm babbling on about these games a little bit. The Xbox 360 is definitely a system that I collect for. So it's up to 85 games now, I think. This one, next one, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Whole entire Gears of War trilogy on the Xbox 360. Obviously, I'm holding the second one here. Second one and third one are my favorite of the trilogy. This one's a lot of fun. I like the horde mode. I like the multiplayer of the third one better. This one, this game's story is better, but I think the like multiplayer and features of the third one are better. This one's also complete, I think. I don't have the case for the third one. Eventually, I'll get it. I just have the game. And I have the ultimate edition of the first one. So eventually I'll get an actual physical copy of that. Have it on my Xbox One. When I bought my Xbox One, I actually got the Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which had the uh, HD remake of this game. So, And actually it had this as well, but just the download. So now I have it twice. But like I said, number two, cheating, a Tiger Gears of War trilogy. Now, let's go into my honorable mentions. Got three right here. No particular order. I guess we'll just do them uh, alphabetically like we usually do. So first one, actually another racing game that I really like, also for the Xbox 360. Blur. This is a game that I feel is like not really well known, but oh my God, this game is a heck of a lot of fun. Imagine an arcade style racing game combined with Mario Kart. So take like more of a like realistic arcade style, excuse me, sorry arcade style racing game and add in like weapons and power-ups and stuff like that game's a lot of fun it's also out for the xbox 360 unfortunately the price for both is pretty well climbed i don't know maybe people just like me they're getting this game they're like hey this game's really fun and they're just not getting rid of their copy i don't know but anyway great game i'd probably put this one like six or seven if i had to do a full you know top 10 or whatever because i keep prattling on Continuing right along. Next one. Space Marine. Warhammer Space Marine, excuse me. This is actually loosely based off the Warhammer 40k board game. Then there was another strategy game that came out very early on for uh, the Xbox 360. And then they eventually turned this into a third-person shooter. Campaign's a lot of fun. reason I'm mentioning it is because I played this game when the online... Uh, player versus player was out and the servers were still up. I played the heck out of this for so many So many months. I mean, I would just waste, you know, evening after evening like every weekend that I was off I would just sit down and just play this game all night Like I just go to the store. I get myself like, you know Six pack of beer or something and I just sit down drink the beer and just play this all game Probably why I'm in recovery now. Oh well it is what it is, still. Great game. Hope you're still here with me as I'm prattling on. I'm kind of 
oodling over all these games a little bit more than I did last week. Last one I'm going to mention. Viva Pinata Party Animals. For all my fans of the Mario Party series, there's actually a party game for the Xbox 360, which is this one. There's also Viva Pinata and Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise. Those are both more like uh, SimCity type games. This one's a party game. My kids actually like this game. I played it with them. They played it. They like to play it with their mom. So definitely want to make sure I gave this an honorable mention. Again, complete. We're checking out. I think it's still still pretty cheap. If you could track it down, go looking for a fun party game for the Xbox 360. Check this one out. Again, if you guys want a full review of these at some point, let me know. And now, anyone who's followed my channel or heard me talk, you probably already know what the number one game is. I don't even think I need to make it. Fable. Ah, oh, do I freaking love this game. This game's so fun. I just sit here and just play this game for hours and just get lost in this world. I can also go like this, turn upside down. Eh, look at that. Also complete. This is actually Fable Anniversary. And shout out to Firefly Gaming. Firefly Family Gaming, sorry. They sent me a spare copy of the original Xbox manual. I don't have, for some reason, I don't have this manual. I don't know what the heck I did with it. But I have this also. I have the original Fable. And then I have Fable Lost Chapters, which is what this is. Just HD remake of it. So... Plus, I also have now have Fable 2 and 3. So actually, for that matter, I was going to say the whole entire Fable franchise. They're all a lot of fun. I love every single one of them. If I really had to say, this would probably actually be my second favorite game ever. I know. I love saying a lot, right? But yeah, right now. Yeah, I'd say Fable is my second fa you know, favorite game all time. But that's the list, everybody. Show it up for you guys again. So we got Ninja Gaiden. Bayonetta, Sonic Racing Transformed, Gears of War franchise, and then the Fable franchise. <laughs> My cat wants me to pet him. You want to say bye to all the lovely people? Urgh, come here. You can say bye to the lovely people. Say hello, my little de deaf cat. Yeah, sadly, he's deaf. That's okay. Hope you enjoyed the list. Like I said, vote for next week. I think he wants kisses too. You go talk to the people, or you just go look at me. Hmm? That's okay. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying these. If you are, like, comment, and share. If you're brand new to the channel, hope you subscribe. Thanks so much.